Thank you, Commander. I have seen another Reaper die before my eyes. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these Quarians... Let's just hope they are reliable allies. It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. How do you see with only two eyes? Evolution has taken a strange turn in this cycle. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. No, she's a passenger in the Normandy, just like us. The ship was a spacefaring vessel before Edie even existed. Engineer Donnelly is correct. The Normandy SR2 was completely spaceworthy prior to my installation. See, Edie agrees with me. Edie's mind and the Normandy are a whole entity now. You couldn't just move the processors in the AI core to another ship. Engineer Adams is correct. Processes that contribute to my self-awareness are spread throughout the ship. See, Edie agrees with me. But unlike Edie, our brains couldn't have existed without our bodies. That is a requisite from being organic. You have to look beyond that limited definition of life. Joker pilots the Normandy. He doesn't take over Edie's body when he does that. When Edie controls the ship, she's piloting, just like Joker. Edie doesn't pilot the Normandy. She is the Normandy. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jumpstarting our immune systems. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them, the suits have become part of our society, but a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you? No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets. And I'd have been wrong. Thank you. Anytime. Just let me know if you let a Geth upload itself in there. <laughs> no, the only person who gets inside my suit is you. Nothing stands between us now. Whatever the galaxy throws at us, I'll be at your side. By the way, I left something for you up in your cabin. Go have a look. you got last tour are still holding up. Thanks again, Commander. Shepard? Shepard? The Normandy is a ship. Edie is a collection of processing hardware contained in that ship. Those are two separate things. Doesn't the existence of the Reapers contradict that? So what do you think, Edie? Are we more than our thoughts? I'm done. Any more of this and my head's gonna explode? Need anything, Commander? 
How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly is dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, sir. Nothing to report. I've always loved the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Ah, oh, come on! The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect fields. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Hey, with a cannon like that, who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> you would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? Everything okay with the shuttle? Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT 47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. 
I always see you down here working your ass out. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. What about your waking hours? Any R&R? &R? I need to keep myself busy. Otherwise, well, too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication, but I don't want to see you burn out. I know my limits. I wouldn't take a chance with your life. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. You know the reviews like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Take some time off on the Citadel, Steve. As a favor to me. If you put it that way, how can I say no? You can't. Hey, hey. Krogan and Turian still friends? For now. It's just gotta last until this war's over, I guess. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. What happened? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want the rest of the story, you're gonna have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. We'll get back there. I know. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. Got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines. And was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing, though. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It'd go to his head. What's with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some people just don't match their names, you know? So, I just give them a new one. Right. I'll talk to you later. You bet. You were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. 
Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious, just <sighs> enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Is that what that was? No wonder you front rank people always want to blow things up. will hold. Pound for pound, they're the best fighting force in the galaxy. Pound for pound is irrelevant, given the significantly higher mass of Reaper forces overall. That's why we're bringing in the Krogan. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean. Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I hoped that if Tally could see reason, then the rest of the Quarians might listen too. I had hoped my cooperation with Tally, along with Legions, would help her question her socialized prejudice. Yeah, kinda hard to dehumanize someone who's right there guarding your back. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah, so? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Get Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Get Fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? This body's performance seemed adequate on our last mission. But only adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed.
Signal confirmed. I found something. Hello? Anne? Are you here? Anne? Oh, Commander. Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. Are you all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. So stupid. It's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again? He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. 
But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I love that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. And you sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. <laughs>